What makes the PPS Panorama Tour unique, apart from the fact that it's 13 years old and the oldest road stage race in the country, is the fact that it employs a pairs racing format. So it's not just based on your own strengths as a rider, but on how well you and a teammate can work together. You can enter the Panorama Tour as a men's team, a ladies team, and even a mixed team format. So with me today to talk about that unique racing format is multiple SA Road Champion and current Ladies Open Category Champion, Desiree Neil Sebrecht. Desiree, what's special for you about the Panorama Tour? I think I just love the fact that it's a stage race. We don't get a lot of those in SA um, on the road. So the dynamic of the stage racing is just something that was new to me and I got there completely thinking I was prepared and was completely overwhelmed. It just adds a whole different dynamic to road racing, whereas normally it's a, a quick average 100k, three hours, gun it, and tactically it's, you know, whichever team has got the best tactic wins, whereas this, first day maybe, second day it starts taking its toll, and especially as a roadie, third day, and by the fourth day time trial, you are just bleeding. It is predominantly a partner race so if you're feeling strong in the day and your partner's not the rule is that you can't be more than one minute apart from your partner I would advise very much so that you try and find someone of a similar strength to you which get to the race and you might both just fall apart but to try and go with a beginner and a, a an advanced rider or husband and wife or I think you're just aiming for for a little bit of a drama Myself and my, my favorite riding partner, Let Lopesha, that we've won twice doing the race with. She's a brilliant climber, she's a tiny little lightweight, and I'm more of a heavyweight, so we actually work quite well because she paces on the long hills, whereas on the downs, she's quite light and she actually battles to stay on the wheels of, of the stronger, heavier guys. So how important is it for you and your partner to go into the race with the same expectations? We don't have an expectation of one another. If one's taking a little bit of slack, it's not like the other one goes, oh, you know, I just wanted to do. We understand one another, and quite often you'll feel strong on one day, and the next day you will be the weak one. Mm -hmm. So it's very important not to, to judge your partner because the roles could be completely reversed the next day, and I think you just have to play it as a team. You're there as partners. I, mean, but I hear a lot of pairs you know, particularly at the sharp end of the field, going into the PPS Panorama Tour saying, you know, we, we, we're going for a win, we're going for a podium. Is it important that you set expectations or that you allow for a kind of fluidity in terms of uh, how your partner might be feeling on a particular day? Obviously you try and plan and you try and stick to your plan as much as possible, but variables happen. Weather changes, mechanical issues, I mean, I've even done a race where Shane, one of the girls, her seat post broke and she had to ride the last 30 k's with no seat. And then of course the next day her legs were dead. So certain variables obviously change, but you obviously do go there with an intention to be the best that you can be, but you also have to be realistic. So if day one doesn't pan out as well as you thought, obviously you go day two and you hope for the best and you still give it horns. I think the most important thing is as well is to just enjoy it, you know, so many riders put so much pressure on themselves and their partners and they just forget why they're doing it. And I mean, I, I know you and uh, Annette, you, you're very different riders, you're very, you have very different strengths and weaknesses and different builds. How, how do you bridge that gap? Well, as I say, we train together every single day. Um, I think obviously Nettie knows my strengths on the hills and she obviously knows how, how hard I can climb. So we do the best that we can do, but we also understand each other because we train so well together. So leading up to Panorama Tour, we obviously focus a lot more on climbing rides, a lot more on hill training. Um, nutrition is key, 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 especially on a stage race. I mean, day one you can get away with it, day two maybe, but by the time you get to day three, if your nutrition hasn't been right for that lead up to the race and that day one and two. Then coming to the day four where you think, oh, it's a time trial, it is not your regular kind of time trial. Everyone goes, oh, but the heavier riders will do well. We've learned to also gauge and work with power. I know what my power can be and her power can be, and power to weight ratio is actually quite similar. 
part of that dynamic is having really good communication. Yeah, I was going to say and, that. And, 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 you know, how honest you are with your partner. Um, I've, I've raced right. with, with, with guys and girls who would kind of, you know, blatantly lie. Yeah. You know, how are you feeling? No, I'm feeling okay. Meanwhile, they're like pushed right into yeah. the red. How important is that communication aspect? And, and how do you get over it um, in, in a very fluid and dynamic uh, race? From day one, we always warm up at least 30 minutes on the rollers or the, or the indoors before we even start. So you already kind of can gauge there where your legs are feeling from the day before. And then we always ride up to the start so that we're nice and warm because panorama from the gun. I mean, they say it's a neutral zone out the first climb. Well, let me tell you that half the field is off in that neutral zone. It is hard, it is hard. You go down this flying hill and then it's up. Um, so from there already, before we even start, how are you feeling today, And it's No, legs aren't feeling so great. And although one of us might not be feeling great at the beginning, come halfway through the ride, the person that was great at the beginning is now really struggling at the end. So I think it is, it's very important to communicate because there's also no point, as I was saying earlier, if one of you is feeling great and strong and the other one's really suffering, by the time you get 70% into the day, the person that's suffering is going to be way off. And that time that you might make up in the beginning, you're going to lose twice as much at the end. Yeah, and certainly the one part of that communication is feedback. How important is communicating in order to keep your partner motivated? I think the biggest thing is you almost don't want to let your partner down. On the longer hills, Nettie will go ahead a little bit because she knows she's really going to struggle on the down and I'll catch her on the down. So we might play a minute or two here or there, you need to be sympathetic and you need to, you know, just be honest. Yeah. But And you, you've kind of started leading into my next question, which is around teamwork and how within that pairs format you can use different strengths uh, to, to lay a foundation, to, to set you up for a, a better performance by the time you get to the finish line. How important is that? Um, you know what, I think you do need to mentally prepare yourself so that it is four days. You know, you can't go all gung -ho on the first day. Um, so once again, as I say, your nutrition, your rest, we always stay together, so that also helps. Um, I think massage is key as well every day, if I can just give that as a little pointer. Uh, you know, not nothing hectic, just a little half an hour on the legs. Preparation of meals, just preparation is everything. Um, rest. I think there's one of the real novel aspects of the PPS Panorama Tour is that fourth stage time trial. How do you work together in a team to, to get through the time trial? Um, well, being a time trialist myself, I mean, I've won the SA title twice. It's generally more of a rolling flat in the TT bike. Everything's, you prepped, you warm, you, you've had time to rest, your legs are ready. Whereas Panorama, you get to day four and you actually don't know how you're going to finish. A lot of people actually don't even do the day four, which is quite sad. Yeah. Um, you know, even if you just dawdle it, do it. Do it, it's, it's really hard out and then you turn around, you come back and actually it's not so bad the second half. The first half you think, I'm never going to finish this. You work and then you just know. You, you sing a little to your partner and write your turn on the front and whoever's feeling stronger on that particular, come, come, come. I mean, I've even had little Netu, I think she's in her 40 kilos and I'm in my 60 kilos, pushing me up a hill on the last stage, you know, and, I, and she'll say, hold on to my pocket and I hold it, she almost stops. I go, oh, no, this is not going to work. No, 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 no. Then you actually find your sense of humor a little bit again and you start feeling a little bit better and then you think, actually, no, you know what, I can do this. You just work together as a team and you know that it's not going to be like your other days where you were out there for four hours and... So what do you prefer, racing as, as a mixed team or a ladies team? Um, I'd have to say definitely ladies team, simply because I find the playing field is a lot more even on the ladies. I think in a mixed team you get an advantage if the guy is a lot stronger and he can push the girl or pull the girl. You could get a very, very strong mixed team, but because that lady might be that much lighter, although she's not necessarily as strong as another lady in a mixed team, the guy might be stronger and then it just, the guy gets to stay with the front guys and um, whereas the girls, it's, as I say, it's, it's a little bit more fair and I think also as a girl sometimes you feel a little bit more pressurised riding with a guy because you don't want to let them down. As girls we're a little bit more um, compassionate towards each other and maybe a little bit more sensitive. Desiree, thank you very much. Uh, 
there we have it, truly the voice of experience when it comes to racing the PPS Panorama Cycle Tour. We can't wait to see you at the start line and uh, we also can't wait to see you in our next installment of uh, preparing for the PPS Panorama Tour. Next time we'll be talking about packing for the tour. Keep the rubber side down.